Well, hello everybody. Hello students. This is a class from this week. Uh, let me show you that on this week we are going to check it out. We are going to study um, our daily routines in the hour, the time. Yeah, we already studied this on first class. In primer grado ya lo estudiamos and also we are going to we are going to study some vocabulary. Please, uh, we are going to move to page 24, a student book. Uh, I need to everybody watch my screen. This is very important to, to say that we are going to use our stickers, stickers 2C, second C. It says, read, write the times and attach the sticker. I get up at 6.30. What are we going to do? We are going to write 6.30, 6.30. Yes, and here we have, we already have the pictures. Uh, on the second picture, I eat breakfast at seven o'clock. When we use a clock, it's a, um, a time that is giving it you that it's an exact time. Es una hora exacta, es el clock. Generalmente le damos la traducción de en punto. Yo desayuno a las siete en punto. We are going to check it out in our stickers book. And we are going to touch here. I go to a school at 7.30. 7.30. I eat lunch. Lunch. Almuerzo. At 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. I do chores at 4 o'clock. We already study what are the chores. Remember, I will move the page to ring for which are the chores. These are chores. Chores. At 4 o'clock. I eat dinner. At 5.30, very dearly, because here in El Salvador, you know, much of us eat dinner at 9 o'clock. I take a bath at 8 o'clock, take a shower on this cage, it's in a bath too, and I go to bed at 8.30. As you can see, we have o'clock and 30. 30 is la mitad de la hora, 30, 8 y 30, 5.30, 5 y 30, to 30, to 30. 2 y 30, 2 o'clock, 2 en punto. You have to practice, practice the hour. And here we have the chart. Me, I get up. For example, teacher Oscar, get up at 5 o'clock. Eat lunch at 12. Do homework at 11 on this case. And go to bed at 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. In some countries, it's very important to say that they use the military hour. For example, we know that the hour have 24, 24, uh, sorry, that they have 24 hours, que el día tiene 24 horas. En algunos países usan la hora militar. Es muy importante decirlo para uso general, uso de la vida cotidiana. Por ejemplo, muchas veces preguntamos, what time is it? En otros países, y nos contestan, it's 17 o'clock, son las 17 en punto. Nos quedamos 17, 17, son las 5 de la tarde, ¿verdad? It's 5 p.m. It can be 5 a.m., the different a.m. and p.m. Or in this case, you are going to use a clock. And depending on the day, you are going to know that what time is it. Well, on the second page, what we have on the second page, very important because we are going to reinforce to the family, that is a content that we already studied, on the, on the first grade. And also we are gonna reinforce to the preposition of places. It says, hi, I'm, I'm Lisa. Ah, you have to read, look and number. Hi, I'm Lisa, this is my family, Lisa is here. I am sitting between my father and my mother. Oh, father and mother, she is between, está en medio de papá y mamá. Father, father, number one, Mother, number two. My grandmother is behind my father. My grandma, grandma is behind, atrás de mi papá. My grandma is behind my father. Number three. My grandfather is next to, next to my grandma. Eh, mi abuelo está a la par, next to my grandma. This is number four. My sister is in front of my mother. My sister is in front of my mother. Yes, this is number five. 
and my cousin is next to my sister here here number six my cousin it's next to my sister my aunt aunt tía esto si no lo vimos el año pasado ni cousin cousin es primo o prima en este caso ella es la hermana y esta es la prima eh, my aunt mi tía is behind my mommy my mother and my uncle is my uncle is next to my aunt my aunt is holding my baby cousin in her arms here baby cousin well and they have they have a daily routine for example the uncle ted and claire cousin Gio and cousin nick because they have different they are different people they already have different uh, activities different daily routine for example at 5 30 5 30 the uncle ted take a shower the uncle i read fits baby and the cousin girls get up cousin nick at breakfast eh, a las 5 y 30 todos tienen diferentes actividades que están realizando porque tienen diferentes rutinas en este horario de la mañana el tío ted a las 5 y 30 él está tomando un baño mientras la tía claire está alimentando el bebé eh, la prima Jill está levantándose y el primito nick está comiendo o tomando su desayuno verifiquemos cada hora recordemos de que este vocabulario sí lo tenemos que aprender the number one uncle i read feeds the baby at 5 30 true or false t verdadero f falso t true f false let me see uncle i read 5 30 feeds the baby yes it's true circle true number two uncle ted goes to work at 6 30 let me see 6 30 goes to work, se va a trabajar a las 6 y 30 el tío Ted, is he the uh, uncle Ted? No, is the cousin Nick. And here we have the uncle Ted, it's brave, it's false, it's false, he doesn't go to work at 6 30, he is eating his breakfast. Number three, cousin Jill goes to school at 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock, cousin Jill go to school, Excellent, it's true. Well, this, this, these are the pages that we have to develop in our student book. But today, I need to reinforce to the practice book. Remember that the practice book help us to reinforce the contents that we are studying in our student book. The pages that we have to uh, do, here we have, go to PB, practice book, page 24 and page 23. Let me see, 20, 21, 22, and 23. And this activity is very important to read carefully because all, all the page is connected. It says, Read and complete the sentence. And here we have the vocabulary. Take a shower, the church, go to bed, and eat dinner. I, look at the pictures. What is he doing? He's doing church. I do chores at five o'clock. Dice el número uno. Yo hago la limpieza a las cinco en punto. ¿Qué hace el niño? La acción uno, the number one. I do chores at five o'clock. We are going to find here on this digital hour, en este reloj digital, vamos a buscar pues, qué hora es 5 o'clock. A is the number one. Action number one, the first hour, 5 o'clock. And the normal um, clock, this is a watch and this is a clock. Here we have the hour, 5 o'clock, the same. What are we going to do? We are going to match match. ¿Qué significa match? Lo vamos a unir. Esta misma hora que a muchos niños les cuesta o nos ha costado a nosotros como adultos cuando estábamos pequeñitos eh, relacionar esta hora. Bien podíamos leer esta otra que decía las 5, pero cuando me iba al reloj de pared 
no podía leer esta hora. Es la misma, chicos y chicas. Cinco de la tarde, cinco de la mañana, cinco de la mañana, cinco de la tarde. Cinco aquí, miren. La horaria y la minutera. ¿Ya? What are we going to do? We are going to match. Lo vamos a unir con una lengua. Aquí va a ir el número uno porque esa es la primera acción que realiza el chico. Well, and the second, let me see. Um, I take a shower at 7.30. I take, take a shower. I will write here, take a shower at 7.30. It's the number two. What are we going to do? I will go to the digital hour, 7.30, number two. And the order of the clock, I will find here, 7.30, I will match. And the next page, page 24. I will not do all the activities because I need to practice too with your parents or do it alone. What we have, we have the story from Uncle Jim. It says, Uncle G Jim eats breakfast at 6 30. Let me see. What is he taking his breakfast? On the picture one? No. On the first picture? No. On the second picture, yes, he's eating. But let me see the others. No, no. On this case, Uncle, Uncle Jim eats breakfast at 6.30. It's this one. What I'm going to do? Number one. I will write here number one. What time is it? 6.30. 6.30. Número uno aquí, porque es la primera acción. Y la hora aquí. 6.30. In the number two, Uncle Jim goes to work at 9 o'clock. Let me see. No. No. Yes. Number two, nine o'clock. After, what are we going to do? Read and order the activities. What do you think? The first activity that this boy, this boy is doing, that is, is that he takes a shower at seven in the morning. A las siete de la mañana, él está tomando un baño. Aquí ya no vamos a fijarnos en la hora porque nos podemos equivocar. Estamos utilizando una hora igual. Aquí dice 7 y 7. Ay, porque esta no es la 1. Porque nos debemos de fijar no en la hora, sino en la expresión horaria. ¿Qué significa evening? ¿Qué significa afternoon? ¿Qué significa morning? En este caso, we are going to say that morning es mañana. Afternoon en la tarde, evening tarde noche o noche. Lo podemos dejar así. Well, on this case, take a shower in the morning. What is the other activity that he does during the morning? Let me see. Evening, morning, afternoon, evening, morning, afternoon. Ah, morning here. I go to school at 8 o'clock in the morning. Number two. After the morning, we have the afternoon. Después de la mañana tenemos la tarde. Veamos qué acciones se realiza en la tarde. Afternoon, afternoon. ¿Cuál irá primero, el 2 o el 4? Según la zona horaria, va primero el 2. I eat lunch at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Bien tarde, bien tarde, almuerzo. Esa es la acción número 3. Well, and at the end, you are going to check it out the evening. This was my class from this uh, week. I know that you already comprehend. If you don't comprehend, please contact your tutor, your teacher. On this case, teacher. Eh, Vanessa, if you are from second A, teacher Claudia, if you are from second B, or teacher Sofia, if you are from second C, and they are going to ask me, and I will contact with you personally, I can call you to your phone number, eh, or you can send me an email to my email address, oscar020189 at gmail.com, and I will respond. Eh, well, I have to tell you something too about the evaluated activity. Uh, we use Spanish. En la actividad evaluada, igual que estas actividades, eh, tengamos en claro que hay dos tipos de actividades. Una es la actividad eh, formativa, que son estas, que vamos realizando semana a semana. Muchos de ustedes me envían fotografías. Mire, profe, ya terminé. Yo las estoy revisando en mi correo. Una a una me pongo a descargar. Las chequeo de que todo esté bien. Hay algunos que se les ha olvidado alguna parte. Pero por lo general todo está muy bien. Esas son actividades formativas. ¿Qué significan formativas? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que ir desarrollando? Eh, al momento de una evaluación, por ejemplo, un examen o un laboratorio, yo sacaré... Eh, los temas a estudiar de estas actividades ¿sí? 
formativas. Ahora, actividades evaluadas son las que aparecen en nuestro ordenador de tareas. Muy importante, en nuestro ordenador de tareas, esas son las que van a llevar ponderación en nuestra nota. Entonces, tanto la actividad formativa como la actividad evaluada, en la actividad evaluada nos aparece una fecha determinada que la tenemos que realizar, pero no tiene límite de tiempo, chicos y chicas. Ustedes la pueden realizar poco a poco, inclusive la otra semana. Vamos a ver de qué manera lo hacemos en vivo y vamos a dar la explicación de la actividad que vamos a realizar, que es muy fácil. Eh, nos vamos a adelantar a la unidad 3, eh, porque la actividad evaluada es de la unidad 3 acerca del platillo saludable. Eh, si tenemos alguna duda, pues contáctenme, voy a estar en línea. Un gusto recibir sus correos y como le dije anteriormente, también si tiene alguna duda, contáctese con su tutora de segundo A, segundo B, segundo C. Eh, se contactan personalmente conmigo, me brindan su número telefónico y yo me puedo contactar con usted personalmente. Un gusto, bye bye, see you. Un blessing day, un día de muchas bendiciones, que tenga una excelente semana. El día viernes tenemos una vacación dentro de la cuarentena, pues disfrutarlo. Ese día no lo trabajamos, ese día no lo vamos a trabajar en ninguna actividad. Padres, madres, por favor, de que los chicos descansen. Gusto, bye bye, sí.